The meltdown has been absolutely wild, guys. Get ready for the climax. We also have SBI, Sweet Baby Inc. They apparently shut down an entire studio. <laughs> you know, they killed an entire studio. That studio ended up getting a, a kiss of death by SBI. But check this, right? Games Radar says a stellar blade puts Eve in some incredibly stupid outfits that hurts the game story. But despite the force, I cannot say the word on YouTube, let's just say Easter egg appeal. Bruh. I actually love her detail design. All right, all right. But on the other side, we got Kotaku saying, Hades 2 is the kind of hot we need right now. Like the video if that's not the hot we need right now. Dislike the video if you love this kind of hot though. Let me know where you at and the big homie Elon crazy man you might have to rewind the video to read what the hell happened there but wait for this one Be one Check of the this. dumbest stories i have seen in a long time but here we are it's 2024 and this is current yeah. games journalist being fake offended over literally anything that they can find to be fake offended over like this, and like it's this. all resulting in memes and people getting roasted yep. and love ratios it, love happening it. here you have it Yay, uh it. stellar blade review day and ign is already going after the game calling this screenshot Whoa. racist is a huge stretch but and, and apparently sony has removed that from the game right like that's what i'm hearing get ready for the climax guys i, I got another video that i'm going to show you right after they have to imagine racism everywhere when they can't find enough to keep the machine going sony uh -oh, says stellar uh -oh. blade art referencing racist language was unintentional will, will be, be patched patch out up. so it's all because of <gasps> the what? No way! Yo! Yo, I, I definitely need your uh, take in the comments on this one, man. So it says hard R. And IGN got offended on that, and apparently now Sony says that they're gonna remove it. You think justified, or you think completely pointless, or, or you're unbothered? Personally, if they're removing it, I'm unbothered by it. Bruh. But but the idea behind it is actually what I'm worried about, right? It's like people are getting offended over some, this. Th th nothing to be offended about. It's not what you think it is, right? The fact that they remove it, remove this part, unbothered, okay? But the fact that they remove it, that tells you like what else they can remove in the future, right? It's like I know Suggs were offended about her ponytail as well. <laughs> why? Why does Eve has a ponytail? Why does she have a ponytail? Suggs were mad about that. Everybody apparently, apparently, minus you guys, I guess you guys are the only one that don't want a characters like that, yeah. right? She, it's fine for him to have a ponytail, but it's totally like you know what? Whoa! How dare Eve get a ponytail? Suggs were mad about that. IGN also did say that if you if you played this game you're gonna beat up your wife bruh and that females are gonna self delete they did say that not long ago they were we, we talked about it there was massive drama now we got this this got image this. right here the hard r shop so yeah. this is being removed because of racism in stellar blade the r shop references roxanne who is one of the game's information brokers the Man. hard graffiti meanwhile can be found in numerous areas throughout the game in a statement released to ign playstation said that the developer i, I want to know like any of you like actually was offended by that one if you were offended two in the comments if you were not offended and it's perfectly fine to leave it in the game because it doesn't mean what they think it means they're they're yeah it's like one of those things right you give them your finger they take your entire hand you give them an inch they take an entire uh, entire mile so them just censoring this i'm like yeah but, but I, i'm more so against the idea of the fact that people got mad and then they're removing it when there's nothing like really wrong about this right it, it's like our shop it's not even the thing that people think it is right but ign and gamers were not mad gamers were not mad of course it just happens to be that IGN is mad and I, I guess Sony's listening to them, so... Developer Shift Up had no intentions of creating offensive artwork, promising to remove it as part of Stellar Blade's day one patch. You have yeah. got to be kidding me. What the hell is going on? Um, day one patch, So guys. right here, Sony says they will remove Stellar Blade artwork that appears to reference racist slurs. <laughs> Claiming that the phrase, uh, phrase's inclusion was unintentional. Yeah. What? 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 D you call this inclusion? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, my God. Bro, what the hell is going on in gaming, bro? 
What the hell is going on in gaming? Elon also shared this chart and guys get ready for the climax there. I got another video that I want to show you. If you have Twitter, this is my Twitter, okay? Links are always in description. This is my Instagram. Uh, this is my Twitch just in case, right? Just in case guys, you never know. You never know. I'm not going to say the word, but if you use any of these social medias, feel free to follow. I would love to have you around as well. All right, let's get down to the content here, boo boo. The art, which appears to combine two visual elements into a single phrase, was discovered during the review process. It can be seen in the screenshot below. So this is where we are right now. And I think it's this is the best part of it. But they have to imagine racism everywhere when they can't find enough to yeah. keep the machine going. And that's what it's all about. It's all yeah. about continuing that divide and continuing that nonsensical narrative that yeah. is what it's all about yeah now yeah, yeah. today has just been a wild oh. day on twitter already the, the fact that igen was given a review copy like yeah what the hell what <laughs> yeah what what that that's crazy now i'm not against the idea of igen give, getting the review but it's like Imagine they have given the, the, you know, the guy that actually came out and said that, you know, females are going to delete themselves if they play Stellar Blade uh, and gamers are going to beat up their wife if they look at Eve and play as Eve in the game. Yo, imagine you. What if like that guy? I want that guy to get the the copy, and I want to see. The, <laughs> I want to see that review, man. It's man. The content is gonna be insane on YouTube, bro. Everybody's gonna be farming. It's gonna bring in like a like a whole new supply of memes uh, and, and all that. I'm down for it, but but like, holy crap! What if? What are the odds, right? That guy gets it. You've got Games Radar saying Stellar Blade puts even some incredibly stupid, sexy outfits yeah. that hurt the game's story. Uh oh. But despite the forced sex appeal, I actually love her detailed design. And uh, I looked up the author to that one, uh, Austin Wood, and Austin Wood already had me blocked. Um, and you've got a lot going on with IGN today. IGN is actually responding to people. What? They, they give it seven? What's the seven? Yo, if IGN gives it seven, that means peasant game. Bad game. <laughs> game for the peasants. Game for... <laughs> For the toxic gamers, the worst game on the planet if they gives it seven. Obviously, I'm exaggerating. I'm joking around. Seven, generally speaking, it's very, very good. Like anything above five means it's good, right? Uh, I want to know your take on it. Now, I know that a lot of people just uh, because like there's a lot of this woke culture happening. A lot of people trying to cancel the game. Uh, I'm talking about in the cancel culture sense, not like directly cancel, cancel the game. Although some want the game to be canceled. Uh, I, I know a lot of people in support are going to easily give it 10. I, I uh, fear that I, I understand that, but I've, I also find that one like not true, right? Because I know there would be somebody out there that genuinely don't care about the woke crap or the non woke crap he he or she simply just want a good game you, you feel what i'm saying right they they might be looking for reviews and they want a genuine review and nowadays you cannot find that because of all this bull squash that's happening so if you're against the world culture i guess you're gonna give it 10 and i understand that i understand that part uh if you are like hey man uh you know her, cut her ponytail you know uh turn uh, turn her into a man right Bruh. all that then you're gonna give this game a one ign giving it seven okay but but uh the, the fact that i IGN has been like really really against this game them giving it seven obviously not gonna work uh well with the with, with the homeboys around with the homies around i, I get that but asking about their reviews and they're quote tweeting them saying seven means good yeah uh, honestly seven does mean good it just happens to be that you guys have asked for so much crap to be removed from this game and you guys have clowned on this game and called the, the the creator that hey you the creator never touched any woman before meanwhile he has a wife at home Bruh. obviously if you now gonna give this game a seven and, and on top, you had one thing removed from the game. Obviously, it's not going to uh, rub uh, people well. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. Um, so I responded with the picture of Melanie Mack. Uh, I think that one kind of speaks for itself. That's what I put there. Bruh. Seven means average in your scaling. Average should be five, but it isn't. Seven means good. Six good. means okay. Five means mediocre. Why is IGN <laughs> responding? 
So again, the Stellar Blade launch. All right, guys, on this one, you're not ready what happened. All right, I, I love the fact that he got sunglasses. Wait for it. are out today because Sweet Baby Inc. has destroyed yet another video game. And uh -oh. it is so damn funny to watch this play out. But not only did they destroy the video game, they took down the whole studio with them. <gasps> because this is the woke rabbit hole. If you go down the woke rabbit hole, this will be the result. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. Yeah. But it will happen eventually. Eventually because Yay. wokeness is a disease Yay. and if you do not get rid of that disease if you invite that disease in it will destroy you and that is what has happened right here here is cabrutus and he says uh this game's on the list by the way this is sweet baby uh -oh. Inc. says we are saddened to learn that shadow gambit the cursed crew is mimi's last game Man. <laughs> Okay, I man, I, I no, listen, I'm not laughing at the fact that they're getting like shut down or canceled or like uh because I feel like that everybody has the right. If they want to produce a woke game, go for it, right? Yeah, go for it. I'm not gonna buy it, I'm not gonna support it, but you have the absolute god given right to make a woke game. I'm not against that. Many people are not against that. Yeah, Suck is gonna laugh, Suck is not gonna buy, and that's their right. Everybody that chooses not to buy or buy your game, that's their right, and that's perfectly fine. The problem becomes when you purposely, intentionally ruin good franchises, uh, for example, right, Tomb Raider, that Lara Croft was perfectly fine. Right now, we're finding out that Lara Croft is going woke as well. Uh, how many franchises we've seen being destroyed, right? How many franchises that they have ruined because of this woke crap, right? That's where the problem is at, and that's what people absolutely, that, that's what people generally dislike, myself included, and that's where I'm at, but if you want to make your woke game, go for it. I, I don't know much about the studio, so I'm, I'm not sure if they were making a woke game from the ground up, or like a game that was not woke and now they destroyed that part, I'm not sure, but what I'm certain about is that they ended up getting sweet baby kiss of that. <laughs> They ended up getting that, and now here we are. Wait for it. We're incredibly proud to have helped bring this final voyage to shore by collaborating with the game's protagonist, uh, Aphia, uh, who's a black female pirate, by the way, oh. because you gotta have <gasps> a black female pirate in order to have this game move forward. And what's the result? Where's all those people on Twitter? Where's all the people on Twitter saying that we need diversity, representation, inclusion? Where are they? It's almost like they don't actually care about these video games. It's almost like they're not interested in this stuff. They only want to talk about it on social media. They only want to call everybody racist and sexist, but they don't actually support any of this shit because they do not care because they are activists. So here you have it again. Now, yeah, may maybe they just have a, a Washington left and in the Washington buying this uh, $70 woke ass game. Some people are probably going to go, well, aren't you sympathetic for the people that no are losing their jobs? The I am not going to be sympathetic when a company Fair. decides to bring a disease into their company so that they can then disrespect gamers. No, yeah, I'm not going to have any sympathy for that. Yeah. I'm I, I personally don't know much about the studio, so it's like, yeah, fair, 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 fair. Sorry, fair. that's just the way it is. I have sympathy for people that are trying to do the right thing and end up not making it for various fair. amount of reasons. But no, not when you are actively disrespecting gamers and disrespecting your audience. No, I have no sympathy whatsoever. Um, and this is back on PC Gamers' says fair, Shadow fair, Tactics fair. developer Me 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 Game Shutting Down, working on increasingly ambitious games, took a heavy per... Y you know, developer developer name is me 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 now if you slow down it becomes me 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 when you make a game about uh, and the audience that you have in mind is all about me 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 this is what happens folks you gotta make i mean you suck is what the actual hell make the game for your audience why y'all suck is want to make the game for me 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 Right? Like, the absolute clown, clown, uh, clown behavior right now, bruh. And now they're quickly finding out that they have to shut down and this is gonna be their last game. Why? 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 Why waste your money? Why waste your money in writing out Sweet Baby Inc. into your studios and let them cons co consult you when you know they don't care about gamers, they dislike gamers, they hate gamers, they hate gaming, they don't like it. They don't like it, right? You paid them to consult you, you wasted your money there, 
and now it's like you're gonna quickly find out that people not like what you're producing so sales gonna be down right now as well so ultimately you're gonna lose money there as well this is different kind of stupid, bro. I, I, I don't understand this kind of stupid. It's insane, man. Absolutely Personal wild. On us and our families. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, these are people that clearly are not interested in the product. They're interested in taking a stand against social justice and equality and all the other bullshit that they claim is out there, even though... You don't actually see any evidence of it. And then when you do get an actual female lead in a video game like Stellar Blade, then the entire games journalist yeah. industry is trying to go after all the gamers that are excited about it. Yeah. It's a lose-lose situation. Do not invite wokeness into the equation at all. This will be the result. We also have our boy Cabrutus, who has another game to Ow. recommend. Let's listen. <sighs> what? Another game? Another game? Uh, Cabrutus doesn't recommend Space Tow Truck. Oh no. Oh, to our no. boy Cabrutus. And look at that. 1,100 upvotes to no downvotes. All right. Shout out to Cabrutus. Shout out. Here we go. Hello, guys. I'm Cabrutus. And well, um, let's let's try to get back in shape with all of this, right? Yeah. So I have this follower. And Can a brother get two likes, guys? He sent me. Um, he, he has access to, to the Sweet Baby Inc. official. Uh, Twitter page. It's it's the official Twitter page of, of the company, Sweet Baby Inc. The, that one who is locked since I don't know when it's <laughs> locked. You can go there now and check those tweets. But he has he's he somehow he still has access to them. And he showed me that yes, there is a game that Sweet Baby Inc. claims itself to be involved with, and this game is not on the list. Well, okay. that's not for long. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. The game is called Space Do. Yeah! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, man! Man! <laughs> that's crazy, man. Not on the list. You're on the list. You're on the list. Space Tow Truck. I think Neo's favorite puzzle game. Yeah. Maybe not a, a big game, a big relevant game. This game has been out for a while now. And well, I think it's important to add this game to the list just to document it, just to just so we can make a, a register of okay of it. So yeah, so let's do it. Um, oh, oh, he's putting, ah, the, man. putting the hitman. Ah, yo, hitman, bring the hitman hard. I hope I don't get hit for this. I hope I don't get hit yeah. for that. I probably should. I shouldn't. Of course, Brett the hitman heart. One of the greatest of all time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say the... Man, The Undertaker. It's so sad that they did... WWE honestly did Undertaker bad. Losing once, okay. But losing twice, come on now, man. I'm talking off, of course, The Undertaker streak at WrestleMania. The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock. You know what I'm saying? The way I went, Mr. Big Show. Uh, Big Show uh, uh, as well. Man, I love the... A lot. Batista. So many good wrestlers back. Edge... Uh, Shawn Michaels, yeah, we, we can be here for, we're gonna be here for days if we talk about this, but absolutely, man. Greatest technical wrestler of all time, but yeah. Brutus is bringing his shades out too, baby, let's go! Of course, of course I, can, I cannot forget about the glasses. Okay, I'm not sure if that's copyright or not. <laughs> you know, this, this is my, <laughs> my better style glasses. You guys call me out okay. on it. I know I'm not subscribed. I'm subscribed through my D-Day Cobra channel, but I just subscribed to Cabrutus through Geeks and Gamers as well. I'm signed into okay. the Geeks and Gamers account Shout right out now. to you. Uh, creator. Okay, going yeah, in admin. Let's add this game. Dude, I forgot how to add games. <laughs> I don't know how to add games. Okay. So, I never... Space Tau. Okay, this is helpful yeah, though. I... This is the game. This is helpful. I want to be doing that Sweet too, you know? Baby like, uh, write your review. Detected. Involvement in their official X profile. See, this is beautiful because no game now 
wants to be connected to Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah. Sweet Baby Inc. is the actual disease that we have told you that wokeness is. And now, no company wants to be connected to... It's a lose-lose situation. I I'm, I'm actually glad that this is blowing up and people are talking, you guys are talking. Shout out to you guys as well. Uh, shout out to Geeks and Gamers. Shout out to Cabrutas. Shout out to everybody that's actually speaking out, talking about this. A and the fact that all of us gamers are coming together. There are a lot of uh, situations where gamer, gamers will never come together on a lot of the issues, right? It's like, Sega's are always like, PlayStation good, PlayStation the best, Xbox the best, and you know, there's always that fight. I love the meme aspect of it, don't get me wrong, it's funny, it's hilarious, but when it gets toxic, it's like, what are we doing, man? These companies don't even give a damn about you and I. They, they don't care, right? So, but, but now, it's like, people are like, Forget everything! Put everything to the side! We need to save gaming! We need to save gaming! I am gonna save gaming! You are gonna save gaming! We are all gonna save gaming! Everybody gets into that phase and I love it. I'm glad that this is becoming a conversation and maybe, maybe guys, maybe, right? Something will be done. And guess what? Something is actually being done right now. You're not gonna believe it. Click on this video on the screen. This recently happened. Asman Gold uh, talks about it. Uh, watch before he gets banned because he said something in the video I, I believe around 11 minute into the video or 9 minute could be wrong but check this entire video out good we have good news but also uh, Asmund Gold said something I'm not trying to cancel him it's just that they probably gonna so check it out and I'll see you right there on the left that video is on my second channel guys